Hi everyone, so in this plasticity industrial design modeling tutorial, you will learn how you can create this kind of classical industrial design for home appliances. And this tutorial is just a preview of the whole exclusive tutorial, which is hosted in our Plasticity Accelerator membership, where I show in one hour the whole process from start to finish and step-by-step -step how to model that whole hand mixer here. And in this preview, you will learn how you can establish this very, very main form and shape. And because yeah, you see you have like a lot of smooth curves and smooth transitions and just a very, very elegant, aesthetical, beautiful shape, right? So let's dive in. And if you want to learn more about our Plasticity Accelerator membership, where you learn plasticity with high quality courses and tutorials, check out first link in the description. You will find there all of the information, monthly exclusive tutorials, big discounts on my premium courses, and a lot more helpful things, which will support you in your plasticity modeling journey. So let's dive in. So first of all, go to Google and type in Oster Hand Mixer 270. And also what's very interesting will be in this course or in this exclusive tutorial, we don't have a straight image. So we have to improvise a little bit and work more with different angles. So it's a very interesting, a little bit of a different approach where we have again to use more brain cells, but that's good. So just come here and just download all of those images from different angles and put them all into PureRef. So the most important ones, so uh, we can work with these and especially this one. So this is one which is straight from the front. This will be very helpful. So let's dive in and we go first. And again, I will not explain everything in the absolute beginner level because then it will take six hours or so 10 hours. So that surface modeling, I have hundreds of surface modeling beginner tutorials on YouTube. So check them out first, like one, two or three, just to get like accustomed to the very basics. Then come back here. We are in the front view and we will import a pan. First of all, this straight image here, because this will give us the perfect proportions. And first of all, bring it in to the middle and just bring it here a little bit. Yeah, as always bring it back and press M and just make it opaque. Yeah, also here you see my keystrokes. I'm using Mac, so they are a little bit different than Windows, but I will anyway always tell you what I'm doing. So yeah, let's start here with the main body and we will first create here a cylindrical shape. Again, we just have to break down this body, this cylindrical shape, and then we will create this kind of cylinder at the back and then we will attach all of the lofts and connect. So again, as always with such products, we, we start with the simple main forms and yeah, just create them and then we will patch and loft everything together. So let's start here. And that one's pretty simple. So we have a circle at the bottom. So we will just create that the two point circle. And just we will go from here to here and press V. So you change the direction. And it's fine. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And now press G and drag that here and snap it to the Z axis. So this exactly in the middle of our circle. Perfect. And now we just have to create here this outer shape with the curve and we will revolve. And then we are basically done with this main shape here. So just create the curve. I have it on shift F. It's control point curve. So just press F control point curve and snap here and just create here this line. And yeah, just adjust the points a little bit. Yeah. So we have something like that and now we can just, okay, we can basically either revolve it or we can select it and I have it here on radial menu. So just sweep. So also you have it somewhere here at the bottom. So select that curve and sweep around that circle. And oh man, this matcap is horrible. So yeah, do this and delete the curve and delete this edge here. And that looks great, right? So we have this very main cylinder here. And now already because we see here from the front, we have this kind of cut out, right? So we have this really cool shape. 
So what I want to do first, because here also where this curve starts, right? So where my mouse is, also starts then this straight face. So what we can do is we can select this face and press Control R. It's for the, my command for isoparam. So search for isoparam or just use my shortcuts and create a cut here because then we can just here at the right attach then in a second this main body. And now also I want to cut the half because we want, because it's symmetrical, we just want to work on one half. So shift A, create a line in the middle, press C, cut here into our surface and delete this piece, delete this curve and perfect. So now we can create another curve and cut out this piece here. So again, shift F or control point curve and just go here and adjust again the curve. So yeah, that looks good. And now just cut here into our surface and this curve, we maybe just need it later. So select it, control G and just put it into a CC group. It's called cutting curve and just hide it and delete this surface. And also in three in face mode, delete this surface with shift X. Perfect. So we have something like that, right? And that's what we want because we have yeah, just one surface, so it's perfect. And now we want to attach this main body here. So also if you check out, so also you see it here. So we have here this rounding, but then at the middle, so somewhere here at one quarter, it starts to get just directly, um, directly straight down and it's everywhere the case, right? So you see it also here. So here, so we have this piece here, right? But you see from this point on, it starts to go straight. So that just basically means we can select this face and with control R, isoparam again, and press tab here. We can cut it here. So you see it's exactly like one quarter. And basically we can delete with shift X this face. So we are just left with here, this uh, yeah one quarter piece and that's good because now we can create here our surface and this long edge, this long surface starts at this point, right? So we can just shift A and now we have to guess a little bit. Yeah, something I think like that, right? So we just have a nice straight curve, perfect. And now, this curve, you see it follows here this edge, but at some point, so, so it starts to curve, right? So yeah, it's, I don't know how to explain that, but here, yeah, you see, so here it's following our quarter and here it's straight, but at some point it, it, it's, it, it goes like to the middle, right? So we, we need to create a surface which will go along this edge, but then again, we have to cut like a half or something and then create this rounding here at the bottom. So how we will do that is we will just select this edge and shift D because now we have two curves. So this, this one and this one, and this one we can again sweep along this curve here. So it will be perfectly attached to this surface. So I have it on shift R. You can just search here for sweep and just attach it here. And if you press OK and delete this curve and this curve, you see, oh, that's really cool. We have exactly what we need and we can even join that and you see, okay, perfect. And now, so we can cut here approximately the half away, right? Because we need this rounding, which we are missing. So again, select three, select this face, control R, for isoparam and yeah, maybe let's cut it a little bit higher because we want to give then this edge a G2. So it, it will be like very, 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 very smooth. So maybe even a little bit higher. Yeah, something like that. And now select this face and just delete it. Perfect. So you see how we are just creating everything one by one and just yeah, sculpting it kind of like technically together, right? And, and, and stuff. Yeah, and now we need this edge here. 
So uh, we see we have here a little bit of a distance, right? So yeah, so you see it here. So again, here this is our like reference. So this will be our circle, and we have to create here a rounding and we can create that with the line so again shift a go to this endpoint and press shift so you get the construction line so we are on the same height and one here shift so we just know where we want to create this curve and i think we want to create it somewhere here and just drag that but don't drag it till here so again go to this point press shift we won't don't want to go it uh, till this point we want it a little bit earlier because we want here then um, we need some space for the, the, the patch which will connect then those pieces. So we need to loft, but yeah, this edge is too long. So select this face and control R and give it here the same distance. And again here, select this curve, extrude this. So we have continuity. And now we can select both edges and loft and give it here G0, a G2, and here it's, it's G1. Delete the surface and guys, I don't know, I really love how this comes together. And so now comes the, the magic part. And I really enjoy to love uh, to, to work with this patch. So first of all, we need this uh, circle, right? Because this is our reference. So let's extrude this because we need the an edge again. Uh, but yeah, before we do that, let's make it just a half. So create a line, shift A, and just go from this half point to this half point. And now select both curves, Alt J. So select both curves, Alt J. So you cut them where they are intersecting. So now you can just delete those pieces. You see, and now we just have one half. So again, extrude this downwards and hide this curve. And now, so for some of you who's already a little bit experienced, we have a perfect hole for our patch. So we have to close this thing here and that's very simple. We just select those two edges and shift B. This is my command for bridge edge. So shift B with G2 is fine. Press OK. And again, select it because we will mirror it over. We need this tangency here. And now press object mode and join all of the surfaces. And now we can patch it. So shift three, patch it and give it here G1, here G1, here G1, and here G1. We don't need it at the bottom. And guys, look, we have an absolute beautiful surface. So press OK, delete this face here and basically also this face. And again, we just start with the, the cylinder, right? Then we attached this face, then we added this curvature. And then once we have the, all of those straight faces, we can then start to patch this complex stuff around. All right, so this was the preview. And if you wanna learn the whole step-by-step -step process, how you can model this amazing hand mixer here and many, many more tutorials, then check out first link in the description, our Plasticity Accelerator membership, where you have amazing in-depth step-by-step tutorials for beginners, intermediates, and advanced users. And currently you can learn how to create this oil canister hard surface model, or if you like organic modeling, then I also have this kind of a organic smooth vase or if you're interested in sci-fi and concept i have here a real world filter mask but with this skills which you will learn in this exclusive tutorial you will be also able to create any kind of mask for your characters or your sci-fi concept designs right so first link in the description leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss other tutorials and have a nice day bye